Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this video I'll be explaining to you how to play Reaper effectively. Now we all know Reaper is a dead man walking. And that's why Reaper needs to eat the souls of his dead enemies to gain health. Yep, that's a very special diet. But let's get into the tips right away after this awesome intro. Actually, that was just my normal intro, but with a nice visual effect on it, but yeah. Yeah, okay, let's get into the tips. So, you should play Reaper on the maps where you like to flank and or have a lot of short range distances, because Reaper's damage is huge at close range. So when you found a nice little map and you're playing with teammates that you actually like and don't screw you over all the time, then you have to watch out for the snipers and other long heroes, May and Reaper. And most of the time you can escape from these heroes with your Wraith form ability. You can also teleport to uh, close to snipers so you can surprise them and kill them. So actually... Reaper is a pretty good hero because actually as Reaper you can get out of any situation just teleport and that was a stupid little teleport or use your wraith form ability now the only time where you can't escape is when you have used all your abilities and you have to throw your shotguns away to pull new ones out of your cloak because you are too lazy to just reload them. Yeah. So when in gunfights you want to be at close range because Reaper has huge damage at close range. And you want to be in gunfights where enemy don't when enemies don't know where you are. That means using your shadow step ability to flank them. And also you can use your wraith form but then they can still see you also you have to keep in mind that when you are using your shade step your shadow step wow that was destiny never mind when you're using your shadow stop step that you are still vul uh, vulnerable people can hit you while you teleport while you can't move so try to teleport somewhere where people do not see you and it's ideal for Reaper to get behind enemies and at close ranges. That's just awesome. And you might not uh, see me doing this in this video, but that was because this is one of the first times I'm actually playing with Reaper. But I thought, you know what, got a nice little streak on, in this gameplay, so I'll use this game gameplay to compensate over it. And that was, uh, again, a teleport that was totally unnecessary, but I was too lazy to take the stairs. So yeah. Enough about me. It's also handy to know where the health packs are just in case. When someone is killed, they leave this ball that you can pick up. That's and those are these balls are the souls of your dead enemies in case you didn't know, which I actually sold a few times in this video right now. And you can use your Wraith form ability escape when on low health in search for these balls or health packs. And we all know they are just the souls of your dead enemies, but that doesn't matter. So you should play Reaper when you have at least a support hero that's pretty nice. You need to have heroes that can distract the enemy team, you know what I mean? So like a Genji is super handy because he's all over the place and I just one shot at that Tracer so beautifully. That was just not... That was just awesome. Jeez, I have to stop and really talk about the tips, but I keep this getting distracted. So, someone like Genji, but don't flank on the same side of him. Well, actually, you can do that, but you have to watch out, you know, because then people will know, oh, he's flanking with Genji, we need to all go to the flank, and that's not what you want because then you're actually distracting your own team 
So, yeah. Well, uh, a tank is always ha always handy to stay on the point and um, distract the enemies so you can flank them. And the support hero, just like I said, always handy just to have one in case. You never know. Also, you can really help your team a lot when you take out the low enemy, no, the low health enemies like Genji, Tracer. Yeah, you know what I mean. The low health enemies because when you're playing Reaper, you can just shut them down so quickly. It's just you can't imagine how quickly you can take them down. And actually, you can after this video. But my gameplay is too good for the commentary I'm giving. I know. So what else tips can I give you for keeping you amused to the end of this video? Okay, let's give tips about the ultimate. Use your ultimate on two... You can use your ultimate on two moments. When you're absolutely in danger, and then still it's not handy to use your ability because then you use your, uh, uh, you use your ability, but when you die, when doing your ability, you actually lose your ability, and you died. So, that's twice as sad ad as just getting no kills. Now, you can use your ability when there's a lot of guys. You can also use your ability on just one guy when there's a tank. And it's never a bad idea to take down a tank. Actually, Reaper can just quickly kill a tank when he's at close range, but you have to watch out for Roadhog, you know what I mean. And Reinhardt can also stun you. McCree, you have to watch out for McCree, that's really important. But when you see McCree, you can also use Wraith form, you know. When you see someone using his ability or super, you can use Wraith form. But you have to stop shooting to use your Wraith form. And it takes a half second to get into wraith form so keep that in mind that's really important because i tried a few times to go in wraith form while shooting and that didn't work and i was like raging my head off it was not fun anymore but you have to really <laughs> you have to watch and keep all these things in mind you know reaper is a really successful hero to a skilled hand you know what i mean and you actually, what you have to do is just practice with this hero until you know how he works and how to play him. Because that's the best tip I can give you. Just practice. Now guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something of it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.